Hello everyone, this is Shannon from That's So Po, and today I'm going to talk about my monthly priorities for 2020. This is the plan for what I'm going to do for this project for this year. Last year as well, I had monthly priorities for most months out of the year. I will link the playlist below if you want to check those out. What I found was that having a priority each month helped me focus my reading on books that otherwise I may not have picked up even though they really appealed to me and I had a lot of interest in what they had to say. It also makes it a very conscious choice for me to read more diversely, to listen to voices of underrepresented groups or groups that just aren't as common in the books that I tend to pick up on a day-to-day -day basis. So this gets me to read out of my comfort zone and I find that when I focus a whole month on reading a specific group, I get a lot out of it because I tend to see themes that go throughout the various authors and that provides a deeper understanding of at least part of that experience. So I have decided on priorities for 10 months out of the year. I give myself January and December off. Those are just months to catch up on my other TBR books that tend not to get read in the rest of the year. But for February through November, I do have priorities, so I'll go ahead and talk about those. So let's go ahead and talk about the priorities for each month. Many of these are the same as last year, although some of these are different. First is February, which I'm going to be doing Black History Month, which is a U.S. observance. Next is March. For March, I've decided to focus on Middle Eastern and Indian heritage. This is not an observance in the U.S. I just decided this is what I want to focus on. Similarly, for April, I'm going to focus on immigrant and refugee stories. This is not an observance by anybody that I know, but I wanted to focus on this. I have definite interest in these stories. Next is May, which in the U.S. is Asian American and Pacific Islander heritage. Then is June, which is Queer Pride Month in the U.S. And for July, I'm going to do my own thing and focus on Hugo nominees. Last year, as well as this year, I'm signed up uh, for memberships to Worldcon, which gives me the ability to vote in the Hugo Awards. So I want to leave July as some space to wrap up any books that I have yet to read that have been nominated that I need to read before voting. So that's kind of a little bit of a, a safety month for me for that reading. Then comes August. I feel like last year I heard some people doing Africa August on booktube. I can't find anything about it now, but I thought I do not read enough from Africa. I know there's a ton of Nigerian authors who are putting out great work right now, so I want to read and focus on African authors in August. Next comes September, and September in the US is Hispanic or Latinx heritage. Definitely want to do that. I read so many great authors last year. Then October is National Disability Employment Awareness Month, so I want to focus on disabled authors, disabled voices. And then for November, it is um, Native American or Indigenous Heritage Month, so I want to focus on Indigenous reads again. So the way that I'm going to handle these priorities each month is at the beginning of the month I will come out with a video talking about what I'm going to do for that month and at the end of the month I'll wrap it up. So for the video at the beginning of the month this is going to be a little bit different from last year. Last year I just did a TBR but this year I wanted to add a couple of extra things in. So I'll still keep a TBR although I am going to lower the number of books that I put on it. Last year I put 10 but if you've watched my stats video which I will link below I tended to read more around six books. So I think what I'm going to do this year is only put seven books on my TBR with the goal of reading at least five. Last year I felt like I constantly felt I wasn't reading enough, but I read 169 books. I was reading enough. I just think that I constantly felt like I wasn't reading enough off of my monthly priorities TBR. So by lowering that to seven, I think that will remove that feeling. Plus, I often pick up books that are not on this TBR. Many other things that I see that catch my eye if somebody else is reading of that priority that month, so for like Black History Month, lots of people read for that priority, then I get other ideas and I just want to pick things up. So I think that I'll still get plenty read, but remove that stress of feeling like I'm not reading enough by lowering it to seven. I also want to do a better job of distributing the types of books. Some months last year, I picked a lot of really, really heavy reads or a lot of nonfiction. 
and that I felt made it difficult for me to read enough in that priority because I got stuck on books or I just wasn't in the mood. So I want to do a little bit better job of making a kind of better balance of the genres and the topics within each month. The other things that I want to add to this video besides the TBR are adding some recommendations for books that I've read previously on that topic that I think are really good for other people who might be interested in reading along, as well as some shout outs. I find that I get the most book recommendations about certain priorities by own voices booktubers. A lot of booktubers who have a specific background will really pay attention to those topics, to that experience, and they'll have really, really good recommendations. So I wanna do some shout outs for booktubers. And if you guys know any booktubers who fit any of the categories that I mentioned above, I'd love to hear about them, especially if you know any Indian, African, or Asian booktubers. Those are very, very few on my list. Most of the ones that I have are more like diaspora, and even that is kind of limited. So. If you know any, you let me know because I'd love to hear. Also, just if you have any book recommendations that you think would fit with any of these priorities, please let me know. Or if you have a book that you want to read that fits with one of these priorities and you want to buddy read it, please tell me in the comments below. I'm always looking for new ideas and buddy reads are such a fun way to explore a new book. So that's what my beginning of the month video will have each month. The TBR, the recommendations and the shout outs. At the end of the month, I'll go ahead and I'll wrap up all the books that I read that month that fit within my priority, both the ones that I read on my TBR and anything else I picked up that month that fit within that category. I also generally talk about the themes that I noticed while I was reading. It'll be interesting this year for any of the categories I'm repeating to see if I notice the same themes or notice different themes. I'm very curious about that. Also, I'll do some recommendations for out of what I read that month, what I think other people should go ahead and pick up. So that's my plan for my monthly priorities project of 2020. If you guys have any thoughts, any recommendations, anything at all, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you.